Well, I just woke up and in my cup is a hot steaming pile of PragerU what is critical race theory dog shit. Now, as you can imagine, this video is going to be full of fucking lies and bullshit. The PragerU one, not mine. I mean, I'll be full of bullshit, but I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, unlike Prager, you will. So before I even listen to any of this bullshit, let's just go read about what critical race theory is. From Britannica.com, critical race theory um, is an intellectual movement, uh, intellectual movement and loosely organized framework of legal analysis based on the premise that race is not a natural, biological, gr biologically grounded feature of physically distinct human subgroups of humans. Wow, this is really written in a strange way. Um, subgroups of human beings, but a socially constructed, culturally invented a category that is used to oppress and exploit people of color. Uh, critical race theorists hold that law and legal institutions in the United States are inherently racist insofar as they function to create and maintain social, economic, and political inequalities between whites and non-whites. Um, and yeah, and this has been pretty true. I mean, even Obama had to work pretty hard to get the difference in drug criminalization laws to be uh, equalized because like the poor black people drug, which I forget what it is, but you can look it up and, and it's all, all factable. You can look it up was like punished at like 80 times harsher than the fucking like rich white people, cocaine powder drug or whatever that was at the time. Uh, so anyway, so does this seem reasonable? Um, uh, race, is not something that is um, biological. That is true. There is very little biological basis for race insofar as like a specific kind of like part of your gene or any kind of like correlative features beyond skin color. And the reason race exists is because, well, psychologically speaking, humans like to group individuals into patterns. They like to group things and like recognize patterns and stuff like that. So when you see people of one color, you group them as being all of the same thing. But why is that wrong? Well, that's wrong because you could have a bunch of people who all have black skin, but they could all be speaking different languages and they would not have a shared culture. They wouldn't even have a shared language. Uh, languages where, uh, or culture is where language comes from. So they wouldn't even have that shared speech to be able to develop a culture or anything like that. So that's why race and biological features are, are poor stand-ins uh, for race. And that's why socially we create these things to uh, differentiate ourselves and others from each other to try to better others understand our world. But as you can imagine, there are a lot of unfortunate and unfair uh, consequences because of that. So on with the dog shit. Have you heard about critical race theory? I'm guessing you probably have. It has already insinuated itself into many institutions and is making rapid progress into others. If it takes hold, it will completely change the very nature of America and the way you live. Critical race theory holds that the most important thing about you is your race. This is the exact opposite of this is true. Critical race theory, if taken to its like kind of conclusion here, would implicate that race is not important biologically, um, other than for medical reasons, and race is also a fabrication, and it, it only exists via culture. So it doesn't have, it's not the most important thing about you. Like, this is this is just wrong. The color of your skin, that's who you are. That's not, that is your literally... Is your race. Let's go back. Your skin, that's who you are. This is... Is this a troll? Sometimes they do this in PragerU videos where they'll make a statement and be like, oh, gotcha. So I'm going to assume that they're being genuine here. Um, critical race theory is literally arguing against this. So I don't know where you got your information from, but it's wrong. Not your behavior, not your values, not your environment, your race. No, race that's theory. not at all what critical race theory says. This is, I mean, you got... Every single person who have voted this is, I'm going to be, I'm going to say it. I'm going to, you're mentally retarded. You're actually stupid. You're really fucking dumb. Um, and I'm not going to respect you. If you are this stupid where you don't actually fact check the things that you interact with, why are you so lazy with yourself? Have some respect for yourself 
and actually put in the work to form a proper framework of fucking reality. You stupid fucks. If you are a member of a minoritized racial group, their term, not mine. Their term. Okay, their term. It's minoritized in this minor... Uh, a minority. Minority is in here. I don't see minoritized. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Their term, not mine. I like how... He lies all the time before, and now he's like, you are a victim oh, this of is a them. That is rigged against you. This is true. This is actually true. This is actually true. Hand, if His... your race is privileged, you're an exploiter. Okay, that's human. not true. I don't think that... Okay, are they talking... Do they talk... What do they say about white people in this white... Uh, different racialization, members of a minority group, contribute to the varying seeds of negative stereotypes, again, blah, 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 intersectionality, anti-essentialism. Yeah, I mean, generally, I mean, I, I, I do this in, like, every PragerU video. Maybe I do, I don't know. But, okay, why is the American government racist? Okay, back in 1933... Um, the American government sets up the Federal Housing Administration, and I think in like 1936, the federal government starts guaranteeing mortgages to uh, first-time home buyers. So, who does that benefit? That benefits white people because people cannot buy homes during the Great Depression. So now the federal government is backing the mortgages for white people to buy homes. Then, in like the 40s and 50s, America starts fucking making. Uh, like suburbs and shit and guess who's moving in the suburbs it's fucking white people america is like expanding its infrastructure and it's expanding its infrastructure for the benefit of the people who are getting the guaranteed mortgages from the government who is not getting any guaranteed mortgages or any or any any funding well it's people who are redlined what is redlining redlining is basically an area on a map that the government deemed an area to be too uh, risky to invest in to guarantee any infrastructure development or anything like that and basically let the place just waste away a lot of these places turned out to be non-white areas. Huh, interesting that. So then we have the Community Re Reinvestment Act in like 1966, I believe, which black people then finally were allowed to get mortgages from the government the same way white people were. Oh, but oh no, because the housing, cr the housing situation has changed so much because of the federal government's manipulation of the housing market. Now, nope, the people who don't have houses before, don't have that accumulated wealth, can no longer afford these houses. So, um... And when you look at today's statistics, there's a reason why black people have lower wealth than white families is because of these privileges the federal government gave to white families over non-white families. And if you want even fucking funnier statistics, it wasn't until 1996 that the American government started guaranteeing mortgages for American Indian families to buy homes and reservations. So if you don't think that the American government has, been, has privileged white families over non-white families, you're fucking ignorant and stupid. It's just a fucking fact. Look at the fucking history, you stupid fucks. Tend to be or not. But they're not saying that white people are exploiters. You, you, are not an, you aren't an exploiter as a white person. This is just this is just identity politics. Is all this is is that it's white people against black people, and and it's like how are you like this is just stupid. Like, or a white person working as a gender is not exploiting a black CEO. That just doesn't make sense. From the assumption stupid. that racism occurs in all interactions. And I know they're works, bringing up a straw man. Consider this thought experiment. Imagine you own a shop and two customers enter. At the this is going to be good. A Prager you thought experiment. This is going to be fucking wild. Oh my God. I've already been talking for eight minutes. Jesus Christ. This video sucks. Same time. One white oh my God. and one black. Who do you help first? If you, you help, help the person who comes up first. first. Critical race theory would say you did so because you don't trust black people to be left alone in your store. What? This this isn't critical race theory. This is psychoanalyzation to an insane degree. What are you talking about? If you help a black person first and you're sore, you're saying that you don't trust them to be left alone? What? How about you just help the first person? What are you talking about? What? That's racist. If you help the white person first instead... It's going to be a catch-22 is what their thought experiment is. You're, you're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. So there's no way to actually do the right thing under this framework, but they're but they're portraying the framework incorrectly. The fact that like this just gets dumber and dumber. And the fact that 18k people upvoted this, like man, I know they're all Americans. You, you know so they are. You Holy fuck! Are second class citizens. Second That's class citizens. Too. What? That's critical race theory. That's not at all critical race theory. Anything. 
even if it has to it has to do with the legal basis of favoritism it has nothing to do with your microaggressions what the fuck brewed up at harvard law school in the 70s now part of the academic and media mainstream what is also fuck? uniquely un-american what the because fuck? it rejects the core tenets of the american classically liberal judeo-christian value system classically liberal like yeah american Oof. idea upside down the bed well, okay bro right. the bedrock of the american idea is white people owning slaves maybe we should turn that upside down like all of the founding fathers knew exactly what they meant when they said you know when they were talking about you know men being free and shit like that like they weren't talking about black people and they weren't talking about women so like have a little bit some brain cells activate those neurons i just woke up and jeans two leading proponents <sighs> Critical race theory oh, questions the very foundations of the liberal order, including equality theory, legal reasoning, enlightenment rationalism, and the neutral principles of constitutional law. It does this because critical race theory proponents assume racism is present everywhere and always. Um, and they look for yeah. it you want, Do you want to know it. why? Do you want to know why racism is present everywhere and always? It's because, psychologically speaking, people are prone to finding patterns and making associations when there are none. So people associate certain behaviors with certain races of people, even though there may not be an actual association there in existence. But because they have only anecdotal evidence, people psychologically trick themselves into believing that certain groups of people engage in certain patterns because that's what they believe and they aren't aware of their biases to prevent them from falling down into these pitfalls. That's it. What you're talking about is fucking stupid and you're an idiot. And they Ugh. always find it. This it guy is... To be there wait a minute. The imperial... I was doing some American Sign Language training. This guy looks like the guy who was teaching me how to say, how old are you and when's your birthday? How old are you? You, 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 and when's your birthday? You, do, do, boink. Man, wow. Well, this guy gets around. In America set things up. Here, as in all dangerous academic theories, there is a kernel of truth. Human beings were not preoccupied with race until the 16th century when European... What? Human beings were not preoccupied with race until the 16th century. Have you ever seen something so fucking stupid that your brain explodes? Holy fuck! What was all that shit in the Middle East with the Jews about? Are you fucking stupid, dog? Aren't you like, isn't this like a Christian, or no, Prager, Dennis Prager is Jewish. What the, dog, you putting this shit out there? Were you paying attention to your own history? <laughs> and like, I know Jews aren't a race. It's like a religion, but like the, Jews are considered a, a race in terms of like how they're a protected class. Like they're on par with that. So like people have been separating themselves into like, racially homogenous groups for a while based on language so like this is just stupid like excuse me do you think like i mean he, what he's talking about here so in 16th century I, what he's talking about i think is nationalism like um, people didn't unite around a single common language as being part of like the french culture or the german culture until this time period so i think he's talking about that and i think it happened during then but um, on its face, this is the dumbest thing I might have ever when seen. Europeans began to explore and then colonize other parts of the world. No, that's not. Wait, so you're telling me that Europeans didn't view other people as different races until they met people who had different skin colors than them, even though the fucking in the Iberian Peninsula, they were speaking like 15 different languages. Are you fucking stupid? What do you think determines somebody's like culture and race it's like their language it's not skin color i mean i know that's what they're trying to say that the the critical race theory is saying but critical race theory is saying literally the opposite so drawing distinctions like between what? races reached its peak in the 19th century with the widespread use of slave labor in north and south america no one denies this what but the since fuck? then the western world and most especially america has spent a lot of time money and blood breaking free of its racist past um, America has not spent a lot of time on getting rid of racism. And in fact, America has not... America owes a lot of fucking money to black people. Are you fucking kidding me? America owes a lot of fucking money to American Indian people. Like, we have fucking Trump gutting 
um, the uh, the NIH or the yeah the um, uh, Indian Health Service, the National Indian Health Service or whatever, like uh, because he just doesn't want them to have health uh, health care. Like American Indians still to this day don't get guaranteed health care from the government, even though the treaties with American tribes guarantees. But in the in the in the uh, Georgia v. Cherokee Nation in like eighteen fucking fifty six or some shit or even before then, the American government literally sets that up in a really racist Supreme Court decision, and the American government still is not providing guaranteed health insurance or health care to American Indians. What the fuck? What the literal fuck? Go fuck yourself. You're so fucking it's wrong. Been a rocky road for sure. It is so wrong. I actually hate you. I act, I hope this person. You know the problem on YouTube is everyone's too nice. They're like, oh well, I'm gonna disagree with what they're saying, um, but I would never say anything negative about their character. No, his character is shit. He's a horrible individual. He's spreading lies. He is actually look at these. He's got 18k people tricked of his absolute buffoon, stupid shit tags, which is just meant to manipulate you into believing that something is different than what it is for the purpose of their own propaganda machine and all it does is cause more division i think people like this deserve to burn at the the, the pits of hell they're so fucking evil they're so fu they're just betrayers to the human race they're selling their souls for money and that's it and i'm sure he believes all the dumb shit he's saying but that doesn't make him any less evil this is a mirage all Racism this progress never never is a mirage it just hit itself better. What are you talking? You're just these are just critical race theory. Therefore, is this is your bad interpretation of things? The civil rights movement. It is in fact a repudiation of it. What? The critical race theorists Martin Luther King was both wrong and naive. White Americans what? can never judge blacks by the content of their character. They what? can only judge them, always unfavorably, consciously or unconsciously, by the color of their skin. Dude, this is going. This isn't Ironically, critical race theory. This is psychology. What are you talking about? In the 1930s and 1940s. Or South African apartheid in the second half of the 20th century has the social movement been so obsessed with race? Isn't it ironic that they're talking? This is like peak projection, projection, right? Because because Prager U puts out all these videos about like, look at the leftists are obsessed with race, but all they do, all they do is they talk about race like all the fucking time. And if you watch the RNC, you know the Republican National Convention, the the identity politics was stronger than it was at the fucking Democratic uh, National Convention um, before, before the presidential election. Like, it was just all identity politics. So it's really funny that they're, they're projecting that the other side is all about race, while they themselves are all about, you know, well, not, not solely race, but like, you know, identity politics. And race is a, a subset race of that, is then in a very that real framework. Sense, a counter -American revolution. Oh, what? It's positive. Not a negative to those who subscribe to the theory. The American experiment. Yeah, fuck America. Four hundred year tryout, and it doesn't what? work. So let's scrap it. That's what, what they believe. Is that what you? What? Believe? Where do you? Where are you getting the evidence for any of these claims? You started with the wrong definition, and now you're saying that like critical race theorists want to destroy America. I'm going to guess that most of you don't. What? So how do Who we believes this shit? Before it infects the brains of too many people. Infects the brains, dude. Your brain is infected. And turns us into something we have never been and shouldn't ever You want, want to know to something that this guy's ever been? Honest. The answer is simple. Refuse to accept it. Don't be intimidated by the heads I win, tails you lose logic of this self destructive, America hating, anti reality idea. Ironic. Don't be bullied Peak into thinking ironic. that you're racist when you know you're not. Don't be bullied into thinking you're racist. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh yeah, we got some fucking dumb fuck quoting Thomas Sowell. Oh, we have another one quoting Thomas Sowell. Thomas Sowell is fucking stupid. But I've already talked about him. When you know you're not. Defend yourself. While you still Go can. fuck yourself. While you still Whoa. Can I hear that again? Defend yourself. While you still can. Excuse me? Are you implying that Joe Biden is going to take your gun? Because I know that's like a... This is a very subtle talking point. Um, but yeah, that, that's definitely what he's going for. Is the We aren't even going to be able to defend ourselves soon without our guns. Oh, Joe I'm Biden's taking our guns away. 
for Prager University. Oh, by the way, none of the things that Joe Biden was suggesting in his gun reform plan has anything to do with taking away anybody's gun, except for people who are uh, deemed a risk to themselves or others. And that the, the red flag laws like that are pretty shit. I gotta be honest. They're they're they they sound good to people who don't know the legal system or don't know emergency detention, but they're way too slow. Um, but they can if somebody has a lot of ED, they can help. But the thing is, is like most people who have like mental health problems are more likely to kill themselves than others. So it's just it it's a bit dumb. Anyway, this guy's dumb. If you like Prager you, you're dumb. If you agree with anything that this guy said you're dumb it's just stupid and wrong everything he says is just a lie um thomas Sowell is um is also evil and a liar and stupid um so yeah um no apologies go fuck yourself um just do better honestly activate the two brain cells you have and just do a little bit more thinking that's all that's all you gotta do sorry just kidding i'm not go fuck yourself